Hey guys, I'm Ryan and I have been hacking things my whole life. I hope you're doing well. I know this time of the year is uh, very anxious, December, Christmas time. I'm in my garage making gifts and today we're going to be talking about making monograms using a multiple cut method where we take multiple files and we glue them together um, nicely. And I really like this monogram um, design that I'm going to tell you all the reasons why after this. Okay guys, I wanted to quickly go over the Illustrator file, what this was actually designed in. Again, I have used both Inkscape and Illustrator, but Illustrator is my uh, go-to application for laser cutting design work. This file monogram has a top, a bottom, and an insert middle piece. So if you wanted to make these uh, for gifts or make these for income, you could go ahead and cut out a bunch of the top of the letters or the bottom of the letters and then do the name separately, um, which is great because if your name is uh, David's son, you could just type in Davidson and then type create outlines and then get your type right there. The thing I wanna leave with you um, is a couple different things. The setting for Luann, make sure you get that right. But in a situation like this where the serif font is very, very small, you're going to want to beef that up. And the way that you beef that up is select the file, you want to go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and then do a 16th inch um, around that. Um, and you can hit Preview and you can see that it'll offset that path and that'll make it a little bit beefier with that. But whatever you can do, understand that it's going to be sensitive, especially if you have the grain wrong. So take your time and get that right. Okay, so I have three files that I'm going to be cutting the top, the middle, um, this middle and bottom section, and then the insert D which goes in it, and it'll all be at the nice level. Take your time while doing this, have wood filler ready, have some clamps, um, and the big thing is, is make sure that the laser cutter does its job, which cuts all the way through. So the settings are 140 speed, this is for, for 316 to Luan, 140 speed, we have full power, three passes. Um, un, you know, you use uh, uncertified material or unknown material inside of the Glowforge and you should have really good results and you will not need to cut things out. There's no need to prime it or do anything else like that. Just go grab it from your store and throw it in the, the uh, cut it down to 20 by 12, throw it in there and then let it go to town. All right, so now let's go ahead and paint things up and uh, I will have this ready for my little helper because she's gonna give it to her mom um, for Christmas, which is really cool. So I'm really glad that she came in the shop and asked me for something, so that means a lot to me. It's been really hard to connect my kids um, out here, even though that they like it. I mean, I think they like the fact that I'm not in the house. I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and do some painting. Okay guys, here's the takeaway from this video. First of all, prime the wood prior to laser cutting it. Go ahead and put masking tape over it or not, but prime the majority of it and sand it. Make sure that all your typefaces, if you're making monogram serif fonts, make sure they're nice and chunky so that they won't break off. Make sure that you cut completely through the wood using a test circle in the Glowforge laser cutter and so that you don't have to use a razor blade other than that. So um, to avoid that tedious painting of the edges and to let those beautiful black edges celebrate life, make sure that you prime prior to laser cutting. And um, the three piece design works perfectly. Just glue it, give yourself patience and time. I hope you have a great um, holiday. This is Christmas Day that I'm posting this. So um, bless you and your families and I will talk to you soon. And whatever you do, make something that connects you with someone else.